Beloved, today's the for a day is Revelation chapter 6. Let us listen to the word of God. Now, I watched the lamp open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like tender, Come, and I looked, and behold, a white horse and its rider had a bow, and a crown was given to him, and he came out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come, and out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth, so that people should slay one another. And he was given a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. And I looked, and behold, a black horse and his rider had a pair of scales in his hand. And I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not harm the oil and wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and its rider's name was Death, and haste followed him, and they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with a sword, and with famine, and with pestilence, and by the wild beast of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the witness they had borne. They cried out with a loud voice, O suffering Lord, holy and true, how long before you will judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then they were each given a white robe and white robe and told to rest a little longer until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers should be complete who were to be killed as they themselves had been. When he opened the sea's seal, I looked and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black a sackcloth, the full moon became it like blood, and the stars of the sky fell on the earth as the fifth three sheds its winter fruit once shaken by a girl. The sky vanished like a scroll that is been rolled up, and every mountain and island was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, and the great ones of the generals, and the rich, and the powerful, and everyone slave and free, hide themselves in the caves, and among the rocks of the mountains, calling to the mountains and rocks, fall on us, and hide us from the face of him who is seated on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of their wrath has come, and who can stand after <coughs> Amen.